but seriously, how do they milk oats? Dad's a beer. That's right. It's episode 79. In the house. Jay and RJ. Love hanging out with you. Thanks for listening to Dad's a beer. That's right. We appreciate all of you. Shout out to us at uh, Dad's a beer on Instagram. At Dad's a beer. It's yeah. the one and only thing that we actually check. It's Sometimes. the only thing we check. Uh, you cut out the music so early, man. Well, do you want more music? Yeah, I was just okay. like, you know, feeling the jam. You're feeling the groove. It's a Sunday afternoon. We're in the basement. You're drinking coffee. I'm drinking a Diet Coke from the old Burger King. The trusty Burger King. Yeah, trusty is, you know, a strong word. Man, trusty <laughs> Burger King. You you said I'm going in because the, the drive-thru. The drive-thru is too long. <laughs> it is too long. Yeah. Not it's, the swiftest crew at that Burger King. <laughs> hey, we love the Burger King, trusty but Burger King. not the swiftest crew. Not the swiftest crew. Yeah, you uh, had to take the Jeep in for some regular maintenance, and That's I had right. to pick you up at Stan's. No, I mean, Coop- at Cooper's. <laughs> you drove to Stan's, but I was at Cooper's. You're on the other side of Lafayette. Hey, man, it was just a Sunday afternoon drive. I was sort of just going where I was going. It's all good. You know? It's all good. Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon cruise. Yeah, just a cruise. Okay, this is a thing we a really serious question. What? How do they make oat milk? I mean, I'm wondering, are, are, are there parts on an oat? On a, uh, oat that we're milking? Yeah, like how does milk come from oats? Is it, is just it like, actually milk, or is it oat soaking? Is just like water and soaking out the? I don't. It is. Yeah, I, uh, there's some weird science going on because there's oat everybody's milk. all anti GMOs, but there's probably some GMOs if you're if you're milking your oats. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. If we don't know the. Process. If you're making some oats that have some some parts on them for milking. Hey, man, that's a little I, weird. I will say that it is the better alternative of all the alternatives. Is milk. it your favorite alternative milk? Yeah, it, it doesn't have the nutty taste like almonds would. Because almond does or cashews. Cashew, but I kind of like cashew milk on its own. Oh, like, really? No, I wouldn't drink it like straight up, but yeah. like it, t- it has a nice flavor, like as a flavor enhancer. Yeah, not as just a milk replacement. Totally. But yeah, I can see that. I uh, what other ones? See, see the like thing oat milk, alternative milks. If I drink milk or have milk products before bed. I snore louder. <laughs> even <laughs> fake, even fake milk, or just real no milk? real, real oh. milk. So that's why, like at night when I'm doing my cinnamon toast crunch bowl of cereal around eight thirty, <laughs> I use almond milk because it's a better milk for like cereal, and oats are better milk for coffee. Oh, okay. Or coffee. I get uh, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. But that's sort of interesting, isn't it? Milking oats. Yeah. So weird concept. That's weird. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, really. You know, it's just it's, it's oat soaking, really. I'm guessing I'm sure it's that's just, probably what it is. Just a vat of oats. Yeah. They're soaking overnight. I, yeah, I don't Draining know. Draining for milk. Maybe we should Google it. Or maybe maybe we should have Googled it. Maybe we it don't want to Google it, yeah, though, because yeah. like, it's like seeing sausage being made. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to see that either. Yeah. You know, there was one summer I spent a summer in Dublin, Ireland, and I lived with the Irish family. And every morning, I either had white sausage or red sausage. And about halfway into the summer, about six weeks in, I, I mean, I've eaten them every night. I finally said this in the morning. I was like, what is white sausage? Like, it just dawned on me then. Yeah. She, and the lady was so kind. She said it was the white blood cells out of pigs that oh. made white sausage. And I never ate white sausage <laughs> again. Yeah, you don't want, there's certain things you just don't want to know. Yeah, if it like, tastes good, just keep it. Tastes good, just like, okay, I'm good, good with it. It Great. is what it is. That's right, man. Yeah. Speaking of tasting good, my pizza is in town officially. Is it in Erie though, or <sighs> Broomfield? There's that line I forget. There's, there's Sheridan. A line. Oh, slash, that, yeah, whatever. Sheridan, Sheridan slash and whatever, slash whatever that, is. that turns into <laughs> County Road Seven and. Hey, half but we order. have my pizza that close, which is very dangerous for Jay. <laughs> 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 it's I'm, too I'm tempting. Oh, I love my pizza. We were talking about it the other night. Mod pizza is nice because if you want anything besides just like a one topping pizza, it's the cheaper way to go about it. And if you have people that want different things, like kids, like kids, yeah, or like you're not doing pork right now, but like I love pork, yeah, so I could get an all pork pizza and you get your non pork pizza and we could be just as happy instead of trying to split half a large pizza or you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like I've gotten to be an old man because I'm avoiding milk and pork because pork gives me migraines. <laughs> And milk makes you snore. <laughs> yeah, louder. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So then the question is, what makes you toot, and how do we avoid that? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, what's next? What's next? Oh, that gives me the toot. Oh, my God. <laughs> gives me the toot. But my pizza is there, and it's so good. It's I so love good. my pizza. We love my pizza. We do love my pizza. Yeah. And that reminds me, the other night, I mean, I had this hankering probably since that that one time we came over for dinner. I thought we were having pizza, and we ended up having, <laughs> what do we have? What it did was like we chicken and broccoli. Did we just end up having like that. chicken or something? <laughs> it and it was like, like we all thought we were having pizza. Yeah. yeah, you and I thought we were having pizza and we weren't having pizza. Yeah. And, you know, don't get a guy whose first love is pizza hope that we're having pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but don't make don't get my hopes up. Yeah, seriously. My dreams come true at night. But um man, I ordered Abo's pizza and it was fantastic. Uh, we still love Abo's. Oh man, they're still the champs. And my thing is cheese pizza there. Like, cheese yeah. is my favorite pizza there. Yeah. I mean, this is a food podcast. We always say that. We know that. You know that. Everyone knows that. If you're still subscribed to us, you're still <laughs> listening, you know it's a food podcast. That's Deep right. Down inside. You know <laughs> that the quickest, may, quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Especially us two. Especially us two. Yeah. That's why we're best friends. Yeah. Because we, we bond over food. <laughs> we bond over food. <laughs> we disagree on so many things, but we bond over food. <laughs> I don't think we can disagree on very many things. No, we don't, really. Okay, um, we also came across stickers because I got a new Yeti. You got a new Yeti, so Christmas. I went through I went through my drawer of stickers here. And I found one of my favorite stickers is a Bucky sticker. Yeah, and if you guys don't know about Bucky's, we may have talked about Bucky's We've before. We've talked about it. Yeah, okay. yeah, we do Bucky's. Um, it's like the world's largest gas station, basically. It's the, that's the way a gas station should be, should be made. With like a thousand different everything, yeah. Like, like the oh, you want granola? Bar, you want granola doors. bars? Well, there's a thousand different kinds. You want beef jerky? There's a thousand different kinds. Yeah. You want soda pop? There's, there's a thousand different coffees. Kinds. Yeah. I mean, Bucky has pretty good coffee, actually. Yeah, you guys should look it up, Bucky's on on the internet. Yeah, and if you've ever, if you're ever in the Dallas area, for whatever or reason, middle of Texas area, or middle of Austin, Texas between San, Antonio. they have them there, and it's a, incredible. It is incredible. What's your favorite thing at Bucky's? I really like they had like chocolate covered. Peanuts. Oh yeah, like I don't know why they, they had the like... chocolate covered of everything. Yeah, yeah, and was, those were good. Yeah, chocolate covered pineapple, dried pineapple oh, is that really. Good. That's like my jam. That sounds good. That's like a total gas station food, though. Yeah, totally. <laughs> know, right? like, it's just like that's the kind of thing you get in a bag. It's like a Ziploc bag <laughs> hanging in a gas station. And you're like, yes, please, yes, please. Yes, I'm please. on a road trip. I'm on a road trip. Yeah, but Bucky's also has these individual stalls. Their bathrooms are massive. Yeah, they're like a coliseum of yeah. of bath- yeah. bathroom duties, which is great when yeah. you're on the road. When it's the ultimate road trip stop. So yeah. if you're ever road tripping through Texas, like you got to kind of plan your stop at Bucky's. Actually, I would never stop at Bucky's cuz you'll never want to stop at another gas station. That's true, it'll ruin you. It will ruin you. Yeah. I know. Especially Bucky's. all the ones in the middle of nowhere where you're like, "Oh, <laughs> like uh kids, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Nothing. What about the floor? Don't, don't even touch that. Don't, don't, don't look at it. Lift your feet off the ground. <laughs> I mean, we've been there, right? Oh, you oh there's some yeah, bad there's ones. There's some bad ones. Speaking of uh, bad bathrooms, the stretch between Colorado and Missouri called Through Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> the entire state. The entire state. All of, st- oh, all of oh, Kansas. Man. The entire state of Kansas. And for granted, I haven't gone through Kansas. Kansas. I don't even know how to pronounce it. For like ten years, I haven't been through Kansas in about ten years. But there's like Colby, the oasis of oh, the plains. It is the oasis of <laughs> the, the oasis plains. of the plains. The best thing that happened in Kansas, it finally got Starbucks, which you knew it's going to be a decent bathroom. That's Starbucks true. are a decent bathroom. That's true because they have like a corporate policy about cleaning their bathroom and not having yeah totally. human waste all over the walls. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. What? Why is there? Why is there in up there? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh gosh! Don't look, kids. Don't look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, bathrooms. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's get serious about here. Okay, we're getting theory. serious. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. It's only like two and half a half weeks, weeks away. Yeah. If if you're a husband, get on the ball. Be ahead of the game this year. Let me tell you what I did. What, what did you do? Well, I already gave it to her because I'm terrible at giving gifts because I'm impatient, so I give it right away when it comes. Yeah. Well, yeah, you buy your Christmas gifts in July and you get it in August. Yeah. Yeah. I bought her an electronic hand warmer. And she pulled it out of her pocket and I like, I felt how hot it was and I was surprised at how much heat. It is amazing how much heat that thing pumps out. How much EMF is it putting I don't out? know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Around her kidneys. A lot, probably. <laughs> But it keeps her warm, which 
If your wife's anything like my wife, yes. a cold wife is not a good wife. See, I have the opposite because her ears are what is like the thing. Do they make like electronic earmuffs then? Ooh, I don't know, but I she has individual do. socks to cover her ears. What? The you remember the earmuffs that were like there's nothing attaching connecting them. Oh, to yeah, and it's just like a cup. It's, it's a cup over I the ears. There's no socks. I was like, she's putting socks like on ear, her ears. They look like ear socks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were revealing a no. deep, dark secret of your marriage here <laughs> that your wife puts socks on her ears at night or something weird. This just got really weird. <laughs> and that's what you said. You said ear socks. I know I did. I was like, But we got what? them at our, one of our play, favorite places that we don't shop at anymore. What? Sierra Trading Post? No. It, it was pre-Sierra Trading Post. Cabela's? Nope. I don't know. Duluth. Oh, Duluth. Yeah, I haven't been to Duluth in a while. We haven't been to Duluth in a long, <laughs> in a long time. time. I feel like we went to Duluth one time and we talked about it for about two months. And then yeah, totally. Now we gone. haven't been back. <laughs> but uh, Although yeah. this is a Duluth shirt. Oh, yeah, and I get my, my beard oil from Duluth. The green. We need to go to Duluth. What are you doing? Are you going to go to Duluth after this? Sure, I'll go walk <laughs> around Duluth. <laughs> I'm not doing anything else today <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Sunday afternoon there is Duluth. football going on today, but I'm not really interested. I really don't care. Yeah. It's not teams that I care about. That's right. But okay. But I'm sure there are some people I really care about. So you got her a hand, a hand warmer? A hand warmer. Oh, so yeah. Explain this. So it's basically like, you know, those battery backups you carry for your cell phones. It's essentially one of those, but it has a heating element on it. So you can also use it as a battery backup if your phone's dying. Okay. So it's a, a bu- dual. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically a, a battery, a lithium ion battery with a heater on it. Yeah, totally. But it's super warm. I'm impressed. The battery lasts all day. She uses it like all day to keep her hands warm. And it's a little it's a little heavy. It feels like you have like a small rock in your pocket. Yeah. It's right? it's not like oh unnoticeable. Like you know, like the little heater packet things that you get when you right. go skiing or whatever. Like those are a little more And those aren't reliable at all. No, but like this is really I've been really impressed with this. I cool. would recommend it. And it was about twenty bucks. There's a bunch of them on Amazon. Okay. It looks like they're all manufactured by the same company because they're all about the same shape and size. Yeah. But they just have different names on them. Different names. So, yeah. But That's I, a great Valentine's gift. I know. So what would you recommend for wives who are thinking about their husbands for Valentine's Day? What are oh. things like... Because Valentine's is not really where you get like the big gift. No, like, this is where you need like the something. little gifts, like a gift card. Yeah. Like a little something that says, I th- I'm thinking about you. Right. I think a Jack's gift card would be appropriate. Jack's would be awesome. Because you could go get like a belt or new socks or a new water bottle. And yeah, like, like a that. single item that you would use. Yeah, yeah something you like need or bucks. want. Yeah, right. It's like yeah, it's like the perfect time for like a multi-tool kind of gift or something. Right, that's a great idea too. A multi-tool. Multi-tool. Every dad needs a good multi-tool. <laughs> they need multiple multi-tools. Yeah, because you need one in every junk drawer, so you know where one is. Yeah, and get one a good in point. the car and yeah. one in the backpack. Yeah. yeah. Totally. What else? What brand? If you were, if you're a wife and you didn't know what a multi tool was, well, Leatherman's like the gold standard. Yeah, just so they're the, like the originator of the whole multi tool. Right. You can't go wrong with. You them. can't go wrong with. So if you get a Leatherman, you can't go wrong. There's, you know, and Leatherman makes ones that are you know hundreds of dollars, and they makes one that they make ones that are you know twenty bucks. And the ones that are in like the twenty to forty range are really good. are really really good. They have everything you don't need. Don't go on. higher than. Don't that. go higher than that unless you really have something specific you want, like a lighter on it. Yeah. Or right. yeah, some crazy other tool or something. Yeah, yeah. totally. But, but don't you don't need to. Yeah. But a Letterman uh, also for a bike, Letterman is a really cool one too. Yeah, and then like Gerber makes them now. You're right. And there's some other some of the other legit knife companies now make multi tools too. So yeah, I would do Gerber or Gerber Leatherman. or Leatherman. I'd stick with those. Yeah, price point it can't beat it. Yeah, and you can get them on Amazon. Amazon too. or going to Jacks. They have a cool selection of all of them. Yeah. You kind of see different features. Totally. And Dick's Sporting Goods usually has some type of version of that, and also Walmart. Walmart's a good option too. Yeah. 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 But what else? What else would you say for a guy? I would say a gift card for some sort of service that they would use. Yeah. Like a haircut. Like I got a haircut today, so it made me think of it. Like, a, yeah. you know, whatever a haircut costs at their favorite place. Um, detailing a car. De- yeah. Like a, a good car t- detail or like a good, you know, wash and detail at yeah. one of those Where you car wash and places. Let someone else do it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Any of those kind of services that your husband would use, I would recommend those. That's a good idea, man. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, I would say like uh, some type of getaway too, like Top Golf. Mm-hmm. You know, like hey, take your best friend, go play Top Golf. Like all on those lines too, like a, a gift card to like a, a restaurant that he enjoys. So like Buffalo Wild Wings or Texas Roadhouse or something. You know, and like yeah. hey, let's go out to dinner one night and here, here's our dinner. Yeah, totally. That's yeah. a really good idea too. But do you celebrate Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day? It's just so expensive that day. 
Oh, I definitely do not because I have the wife that if I showed up with roses on Valentine's Day, I would be in more trouble. I have that wife too. For buying roses when they're at their peak value on Valentine's Day versus I, showing up two days later when they're on clearance. That's a great time to and buy roses. And she's like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Totally. Like it means more to her then. You waited. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Me too. Yeah. For um, sure. Yeah, I think those are really good gift ideas. And then maybe like what it would be a restaurant if you're a guy – Trying to pick a like a sort of romantic place or a quieter place for uh, Valentine's. I do any of like the bistros in towns. Twenty four karat, enjoy the pre P or whatever it is, the new one. Yeah. Uh, eat it you know, birdhouse. Birdhouse would be good too. Yeah. Any yeah. of those, plan a date night there. I would avoid the ones like like we love old mine, but it's kinda loud and it's kinda or chilies. You know, chilies. Like don't do that. Yeah. Like go a little above. Yep. Go yeah. um uh the post. The Post, Community, mm-hmm. any of those, yeah. I'm thinking about Lafayette, too. Like, Lafayette has some really cool places. <laughs> they do. Where you can eat and then stroll afterwards. Yeah, because they have kind of a fun little old town kind What's of What's that? Pl- that Stim? Is it the chocolate place, Stim? Stam. 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 Stam? I don't know. Yeah, that's Whatever. a great chocolate, chocolate place, place in Lafayette. Right there next to, what's the taco place? Oh, oh gosh. Tio Cali. Tio Cali. Tim's yeah. going to kill me for yeah. not doing that right now. yeah. Tio Cali is like his favorite place. That's a, that'd be a good, good, good. Yeah, that's date a great night. place too. Valentine's Day. Do Although you, the talk again, of the year, don't do it on Valentine's Day though, because you know you're gonna have a hard time getting a table. Or right. Whatever. Just you know, give them give them their hand warmer. Yeah. And then on de- and, you're and then be like, life. hey, Friday night, I'm taking you out. Yeah. And like this week, lock up your I don't even know your when, when is actual Valentine's for that week. Day. You know what I mean? Like yeah. You as a as a father, you oh, it's do on a Sunday. You lock it up. Yeah. So you know? take them out the twelfth. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Or like uh, the Monday night, or the fifteenth, yeah. whatever, whatever. But uh, yeah, Valentine's is coming, and dad it's life coming. is important. You better figure it out. Figure it out. Do you uh, do you get your girl a Valentine? Uh, my daughter. Yeah, yeah, I do. Something little, and she, like usually it's like princess related or things like that. Yeah, and Walgreens usually has pretty good cards in that genre. You know what I mean? Like or Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, a little definitely. box of chocolates or something. And I give my little guy something too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's usually like Iron Man saying Happy Valentine's Day or something <laughs> like that. You know, <laughs> like I'll, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. that yeah. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtle. Valentine's Nothing says I love you like Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. You know, <laughs> it's so cute. I I think Valentine's Day is fun with little kids. Oh, it is. It's fun. They really enjoy it. They do enjoy it. Yeah. It's just the chocolate and the balloons. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. All right, it's good to be with you guys. All right, you know where to find us, at Dads of Erie on Instagram. Hit us up. Hit us up. DM us. Slide in those DMs. If you got a great Dad's uh, Valentine's gift, let us know. We yeah, would, let us know. Interested. And, hey, we're going to – we're on YouTube. Don't forget that. So just search Dads of Erie. You can find all the old episodes. And we might be switching because I have been researching some podcasts. So we might be able to have all of our episodes up. So we'll see. Sweet. And uh, do us a solid and review us on iTunes. Yeah, review us on iTunes. We'd love to hear from you. We, how the podcast yeah. is going. Yeah. Peace. If you give it a five-star, we'll give oh. you a sticker. <laughs>